Hey guys, I'm with Chuck Abramson from AVR Industries, and Chuck is a good friend of the show, and we want to talk about some cable stuff that they've got going on here at AVR. Chuck, how are you doing today? Good, good. So, what's new at AVR? So we got a couple of different uh, new products. Um, one is we fully released a complete line of our AVR 316 cables with the ferrites installed. Oh, that's um, sweet. I like that. Yeah, it shows the five ferrites. We can do three, five, or seven, depending on what you need. So a lot of it's for the proto guys, but more even for the soda guys, the backpackers, and stuff like that. Uh, we can do BNC, PL259, you name it for as far as connectors on there. We can customize links, but uh, like little 15-footers are very popular, 25s. Right. So anything longer than that sometimes gets a little bit lossy. Right. So always try to kind of focus a little bit more on what's the best cable. But if you're taking that for a portable op, you don't need, you're not going to really carry 100 feet No, of it. you're just going to be at the end of the table, have yep. the time with the antenna, yeah. and it's going to be really a very straightforward yeah. system. So that's where these come from. And then the nice thing about them is they only weigh like four ounces. Yeah. So it's a really lightweight product. Um, uh, so that's, that's probably one of the hotter things. And then, uh, of course... Um, we look at do all these crazy colors. Look at that. That you see here. Um, so that's a braid used. over the cable. It is. It's a sheath. It's designed to be abrasion resistant. So the cables are always always UV resistant, non-contaminating, which means they could be buried, but also the hold up against salt or other corrosive elements right. and stuff like that. Um, a couple of the new things we're doing with these products is... Uh, we've done it all the way down to the, like the 316 100 size cables. Okay. But also we've started to now look at black anodizing oh, connectors. So for a truly like hidden HOA setup, yeah, yeah. you could do like the army green or the green color, do it with the black anodizing connectors. Um, right now we just have the BNCs in stock. The PLs are still a little ways away from coming in, but they're, they're all set up on order. Um, but yeah, we can, we can make all those different types of connections in the whole nine yards. I like that. That is. Yeah. And see, that would be wipe approved for going through the pasture because yeah. nobody would see that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, some of the other things that we're doing is uh, we have two different types of PLs. We have always had our traditional solder print types. Right. But we also have uh, the solder, solder types now readily available. Okay. So it's an easy decision. Electrically, every single thing's the same. Right. Mechanically, all works out the same yeah. as far as threads and everything. But, you know, if, if you like this, we're happy to make it. Right. And we don't want people to shy away from coming to us with these questions. Right. So we, we're more than happy to stick build these for you. Um, some other products that we're offering is our harness products. Uh, we've got two here at the show. One is for, like, if you're a municipality, yeah. it's fire. And you're running cell data in the vehicles. Yeah. Um, it's even okay. More. So the reverse home polarity home. and straight types of connectors, whether it's SMA, it's TNC, you name it. And you got all those labeled. And, and then they're all labeled for LTE, yeah. GPS. Um, it might be a little bit easier to see it that way. Yeah. Okay. Focus thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's sweet. I like that. That's a good bundle. I like then, that. Um, for a lot of the harnesses that you might see or need out there, whether it's cell phone, data boosters, um, you're running multiple cables through and you want them just to fed into a single harness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We also offer those. Uh, this is those end connectors. Yeah. Right angle. Right angle end nice. connectors. Yeah. And then just go right to the straights, for example. And then that's just like a sheath. It's the, a sheath. The, it's a protective sheath. So you still get the same sheath material. Um, so it'll, if you're running it through, you know, uh, a home or a commercial site or a vehicle and you're worried about ripping it up I mean, right, yeah. or snow or anything else getting to any of these systems, um, that's that's where these shoes will definitely come into play. And that's then, nice. Yeah. It's, um, uh oh, what's that? That looks like a toroid. It's a new one, new toroid. Um, we're doing it with 223. We're offering it so it's got a higher performance value and it's specifically designed um this is the HF version, just up to 50 megahertz. Mm -hmm. We also have a couple of versions that go up to 70 and even a two meter version as well. We're doing them with some high performance 223 or Teflon cables as nice. standards. We can customize just about any of the other cables with it. But um, yeah, we're just we're just getting these launched this year. So yeah, that's that's the products that we've got here right now at the show. Very good. So, you guys look like you're doing a, a very good. Uh, 
good traffic going through here for the first morning. Chuck, thank you very much. I appreciate your time, brother. Yeah, anytime. You enjoy it.